Hey guys, Mark Armbrist here. Going to shoot a little video here um, showing how my Vanessa rig is set up. As there's been some discussion uh, recently on a couple of the build threads there on RC Scale Builder. Um, so I'm, I'm in the process of uh, getting this V25 done. Um, and I got the Vanessa rig set up on it. It's not 100% ready to be balanced yet. I'm still working on the dummy engines, waiting on true turn for some prop hubs. Um, so there's some other weight to be added forward to the CG um, that I'm literally waiting for. So, uh, but while glue's drying on those dummy engines, I figured I needed to get my Vanessa rig set up anyhow. So I took some time and, and got this set up. Um, so I'll show you how mine's constructed. Um, those of you that follow my stuff, I tend to build, you know, 40 pound, 50 pound airplanes. So mine's got a couple of pulleys uh, involved in it just to aid with the uh, heavy lifting. Um, I use some one by material to create my the centerpiece there. That's a I don't know, half inch steel rod running through it. Um, the plumb bob is dead center mounted, so that it will point center no matter if my uh, relationship to the wing here is off a little bit, um, and things of that nature. Um, this airplane is 100% hanging in the air right now. You can see the wheels are not on the bench. Um, you can see I put a level on the fuselage, and... When that bubble is centered, the plumb bob that's hanging there points to where the CG is at right now. So you, you, you can't, you know, make this thing go to the CG you want, then add weight and have it all work out. It just doesn't do that. Uh, what this is going to do, and you can, I'll show you my rope setup. This is one continuous loop of rope, right? It makes no difference where it's hooked up on this airplane. You could go around the wings if you want. You can see I came back around the tail. Nice solid point. I threw a zip tie on it. It weighs nothing just to keep it from bunging up these elevators for me. And then the front end, I just went around the bottom of the fuselage here and let the, the nose gear catch it. Um, although, now that I'm thinking about what's about to happen, um, I think you're supposed to balance this thing with the landing gear in the up position. So I may run into a little snag uh, when I retract the gear. So my setup is probably going to change slightly before I'm done here. Um, but I wanted to get an idea of where I was at and show you um, how you can use a Vanessa rig to easily find your, uh, not find center of gravity, but to set center of gravity on your airplane that you can't just pick up on your fingertips or something. Um, way less complicated than using scales and doing math and whatever. This is just using gravity, which we all know works just fine. Um, right? So being as this is one continuous loop of rope up around my steel bar here, and you can see I just throw it around twice there, right? So when I spin that steel bar, it changes the attitude of the way the airplane's hanging here. So currently it's sitting here level, and we'll just use with the gear down for purposes of our video here, you can see I got a piece of tape on the fuselage that shows where the CG needs to be. So clearly right now I got to go forward like an inch, inch and a half, which means we get to add some lead. How much? We have no idea, right? So we'll go to the spot on the, uh, you have to excuse my disaster of a shop here. Um, I've been doing lots of different things today, trying to get these dummy engines together uh, and things. And here we are for a video. Um, so, the steel bar, I know there was some discussion on keeping it to, uh, from just spinning. You can see I cut a slit at my piece of wood here. I threw a bolt in it with a blind nut. So the tension's fully adjustable on my steel bar. So if it's too loose or too tight, I just uh, make the adjustment, right? Um, pretty simple. Uh, way to keep that from coming out of control for you. Um, 
So we figure we got to go about an inch and a half forward. Um, I think the where I can get the lead in this airplane is going to actually be about here, up above um, where the nose gear is at. I think there's a good spot in there um, to do it. I'm betting on needing a, you know a couple pounds here, which is whatever. It just it, it sort of is what it is. Um, so I'll I'll grab a a hunk of lead here. Um, just or a hunk of something. It doesn't really matter what it is at this point. We just need to get some weight up front and see where actually the CG goes to, right? So I'm gonna set this heck of a it looks like it's a half a pound. Right about where I'm pretty sure I can put the lead. Okay. And when we come back over to our level, you'll see the bubble is no longer in the center. Right? So we need to re-level the airplane. Also, the half a pound really, from what I just saw, didn't move it very much. So we're gonna, let's get a little more serious with the amount of lead. Um, let me find, let me find a little hunk here. I have, I don't know, that's more than a half a pound. That's what I know. Um, and, all right, now we got something moving, okay? So, and you can see the plumb bob swinging, so we'll let, we'll give it a second to settle down. But you can see I lost center of the bubble, right? So we got to get the bubble back. No big deal, right? Simply, take your steel rod here and change the length of the ropes from front to rear until you get level. So right now the tail needs to come down. So I'm going to grab my steel rod, give it a twist. All right, and again, I'm looking to just get the center level back, which I did. Now everything's just kind of swinging right now, so I'll have to wait for it to settle down. Okay. I think I'm going to find out I need a whole ton of lead in the nose of this thing before this is over. Um, oh, sorry with the finger there. Um, but you can see I'm back center bubble, right? And the plumb bob is starting to get up front, but it ain't there yet. It's probably got to go another half inch, right? So I've already got a hunk of lead up there. Um, this is kind of getting concerning, right? Um, I don't know how much lead we really want to put in the nose of a RC airplane, but again, I still got dummy engines and other things to add to this particular airplane. So here's another hunk of lead. That's probably four pounds of lead sitting up there. I'll, I'll throw it on a scale for you before... We close out this video just for curiosity's sake. Okay, and again, you can see the bubble's not level, which means the plumb bob ain't pointing to anything that means anything right now, right? So we got to adjust the, come up here, put another twist on the, and actually I think this is actually good news is I'm pretty sure as I do this, um, and I'm showing you nothing right now, okay? I'm pretty sure it's gone too far, right? So now with it level, the plumb bob's actually pointing to something meaningful again, right? I'll try and study it just for our discussion's sake here. Okay, again, bubble, um, and then the plumb bob. And now if you can see it, I'm probably a half inch too far forward. So we'll play around with the amount of lead we got up here. I'll take this hunk off. Again, bubble just went the other way, right? See it? Okay. Oh, and actually the retract, the gear's got to retract, plus there's some other stuff to go on here. So actually it may need all this lead. Um, but we'll, we'll get something on here a little less heavy. Um, so I threw that up there just to See, okay, come back over here and you can see that our bubble is no longer quite centered. I mean, everything's wiggling as well. So you let that calm down a second. So we need to go and bring the tail back up. We'll turn this just a little. All right, sorry, I, my stupid phone for a camera. Okay, and right now, well, the plumb bob is pretty much pointing to our desired CG location with a center bubble. 
Again, if the bubble ain't level, you're not plumb bobbing, whatever you want to call it. Your plumb bob's pointing to nothing meaningful, right? It also needs to be hung from the center of the rig, so gravity can do its thing, right? You can put it out on the edge, but then you're a little more, um, as Alan mentioned on his thread, it's a little uh, more likely to be, if you're not perfectly lined up, um, with the way your rig is, you're going to lose, um, you'll lose, uh, accuracy of the setup. But with that thing in the center, gravity's going to work, right? Again, makes no difference where these ropes are hooked up. You could go around the wing, closer to the center of the wing, whatever you want to do. It's going to do its thing. Gravity works. All right. So that's all set up. And then I'll, I'll show you what happens too, right? Because here we are sitting perfectly balanced. I'm going to take our, our lead off and go weigh it just to, just so we can all go, oh my God, he's going to put all that lead in the nose of this airplane. Um, <laughs> and now you can see, right? The level says we ain't level and the plumb bob is pointing to nothing, right? You go, oh, that's more tail heavy. Yeah, but it's just not... Again, it means nothing, right? So, let me come over, grab my scale here for you real quick, just for grins. All right, so I think everybody's probably got a little digital scale. Let me uh, take it off of grams. Um, I think I officially don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so there's ounces. Um, so there is, what are we sitting on? 37 ounces of lead in this airplane. So that's uh, know, two and a quarter pounds, give or take right now. Uh, again, the dummy engines are gonna go in, prop hubs are coming from True Turn. That's gonna put some weight in front of the CG. Um, but then the retracts still get to swing back, which is gonna push this tail heavy. So I'm probably looking at needing all of that lead uh, to go inside of this thing. Uh, so it is what it is. I don't uh, I don't fret about it. Um, I'm sure this is partially due to putting four servos in the tail, um, but it is what it is. Um, I'm sure this airplane, whatever it weighs, which right now we have no idea, um, will be just fine. That's a that's a 52 pound C47 there that I've got over 250 flights on, and it flies like a big trainer. Um, so. I'm not overly concerned uh, about the all-up weight it, it, at this juncture. It is what it is. Um, I was going to do a retract test for you guys, but with my Vanessa rig being the way it is, I'm kind of I'm going to have to rethink what I'm doing here because um, again, the gear has to get up on this airplane to really check the balance. So I'll uh, reserve the gear the gear swing uh, for a later date. Um, but I'll, uh, I'll give you a little little video tour of the aircraft as it's hanging here. Um, right, here's my, my cheap, cheesy pilots I threw in there um, because I hate doing cockpits. Um, we did a little, do a little uh, tribute. Um, I got a picture of a dashboard for simplicity, right? Um, for those of you following my thread, we got a removable turret here hiding the switches. And it's... Well, it ain't going to fall off in flight. Uh, it's just Velcro holding it in there. I was... Wow. Hold on, let me put you down. Wow, it's really on there. Ah, pop goes it. All right, turret's off. You can see I got my air fill. A uh, little Robart uh, pop-up air... Thing. This thing's been geared down, aired up at 110 PSI since yesterday afternoon. Um, I need to swing the gear up and make sure the little stick stays up overnight again. Um, those two switches are for the ignition modules. That switch is running our power safe receiver. And there's the charge jacks for the 2A123s um, that are running our... Uh, that are running the, uh, the receiver. Um... You come around. All right. Okay. 
there's a, a little general look at the aircraft and, uh, and what's going on here. Um, I hope you find the, the video helpful with the whole Vanessa rig stuff. Feel free to, to ask me questions. We'll try and make this uh, as easy as it really is for everybody out there. Um, I've been balancing airplanes like this now ever since that C-47 was constructed a while back. Um, it works well. Um, it's reliable. Um, you just got to, you know, take a little while to wrap your brain around how it's working. And uh, it'll, it'll do what it does for you. So anyhow, uh, that's 15 minutes of video of uh, balancing an airplane. See ya.